Okay, we're back to uh, business here. Show me. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. So, heavy... Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah. Ah. Why? What the fuck? Holy shit! Dude, I ain't got the money for this. Increase maximum number of metagels. And then I can sell all the extra shit. A basic ass Avenger, a basic ass Hurricane. I keep one of those actually. Okay, I don't need four of those. Sell all the junk. Some of this stuff. Who knows, maybe I might want to actually upgrade the pistols. Oh, this is a basic edge. Don't need that. Okay. how it is. Can't open any of those. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Man. Shepard is a soldier, yet he has that Alan Wake sprint duration. How can you only sprint a few feet? Like, what are you, what are you doing? Oh man, I'm yawning already. I mean, like, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be able to do some voiceover stuff, which I'm looking forward to doing. But it, like, also, it's gonna be like earlier in the day, and. I don't know if I'll be finishing Neptunia tonight or not. I could try to finish it at the cost of much less sleep for tomorrow. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Do I get my own personal room in the first game? Glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. way over here. It's Seth Green all the way over there. It's Chris Griffin. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. I don't know that this cutscene took all the budget. Places I'm gonna be in the whole game. Look 
the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Map. Oh boy. Where do they want me to go again? <laughs> oh my god, there's so much. They want me to go there. Oh, there's so much I could go looking to. Let's get in there. Why can't I just take my weapons out inside this place? I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. Alright, I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. 
her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. You seem distressed. Is there something I, I can do to help? Skip these Alarmed response. Oh, I can't square. Never heard that, did you? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shaira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Good luck with your problem. <laughs> Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your co- I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. EarthClan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your Ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. 
Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes, good. Ah, uh, leveled up just from having a simple conversation. How nice. Unlock first aid. Put a point into soldier. Day, Earth Clan. Can't talk to you. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. It's gonna tell me where to go, basically. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I don't like the way those guys talk. I can just imagine a conversation of them finding their cheating wife like a very rageful bitch. 
Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Anything to steal in your room? <laughs> Three triangles and a square, man, you make it too easy. Where did the music almost sound like I did something very wrong by doing that? Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. This place seems strange. There's no more humans around. I need to hear that voice again. You have to be tough with these aliens. They won't respect you otherwise. Hmm. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Commander, you're here for some information? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Oh, uh, yeah, you're very busy. And I'm not talking to you, apparently. Ugh, ugly bug guy. Alright. Mm. 
man, if you didn't have like any sound playing and you touched the doors, you wouldn't even know they're working. Hello? Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Cause every night I will save your life.